presentations by Diotech Semiconductor. Smart devices for smart applications. Under this slogan, we present you our solutions for your design success. Today, cost and space saving solutions for standard and power LED drivers. Let us start with white standard LEDs. Driving current of these parts is typically 20 milliamps. Due to their low cost and long lifetime, standard LEDs are ideally suited for tube-like retrofits. Traditional driver circuits are complex, expensive and due to the electrolytic capacitors of limited lifetime. So the advantages of using LEDs are mostly gone. Current limiting diodes, or CLDs for short, offer a solution which drastically reduces device count. You just need a bridge rectifier, a small film capacitor, and the CLD CL20M45. There is no flicker on the emitted light, even if the mains fluctuate, since the CLD keeps the driving current absolutely constant. Now we switch to power LEDs. It needs typically between 350 and 700 milliamps to let them shine as bright as the formerly used halogen spotlights. Such rather high driving currents still require the traditional driving circuits. Lamp drivers for 12 volt AC or DC supply are using a step down converter as shown in this slide. A 3 amp 40 volt shop key is suitable both for the input bridge as well as the freewheeling diode at the output. A state of the art device is the SK34 SMA. The new SKL34 and the smaller SOD123 saves 45% of board space. For LED lamps to be operated directly on the worldwide AC mains, a much more complex circuit is required. Here are three highlights from Diotech's product range for these circuits. The S250K, used as input bridge, reduces power losses and allows for high inrush currents. The Snubber Network TGL200F10 offers a two-in-one solution in a single MELF package. The output rectifier PPS560 offers high performance in a small power SMD package. Well, and we are live. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all our viewers around the world. Thank you for tuning in to IBS Electronics live technical web webinar featuring Diotech Semiconductor, hosted by truly yours, Rob Tabby, Manager Director of IBS Electronics. This is our first live webinar, bringing in one of our European partners, headquartered in Freiburg, Germany, with technical colleagues joining us live today from Germany, India, and US, all on this amazing platform, connecting with all of you from many different technical industries. Semiconductors, diodes, and rectifiers always been essential components in electronic devices. Modern electronics cannot work without these parts. For more than 45 years, Diotech has been active in highly competitive market. Know-how, innovations, customer service are their basis for success. At the end, we will open up all for questions. Please submit your questions, live comments in the feed, in the Facebook or YouTube feed, and we'll get to them as, as quick as possible right at the end of the, of the show. So now moving forward, let's introduce your first, your first uh, general manager and leader of the global uh, Diotech team, Dr. Savario Barboni. Thank you. Good day to everybody. Nice to meet this event. Thank you. Sarvario, thank you for joining us. Thank you for this ability to do this technical webinar, promoting Diotech technical abilities. You know, as we've been friends, we've known each other for about 10 plus years, been partners, right. travel around the world, been to, been to Germany, Asia, China, Philippines. You guys have been a great support, a great partner of ours. And we just want to give our, our thanks to you and all your team of what you've done for us in the collaboration for the years to come forward ahead too. 
Thank you. Always a pleasure to work with IBS, uh, you, your staff. Uh, as we told, the cooperation is great since many years. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. So let's all bring on the, the your team. Uh, on second to is Rebecca Begaman. She is the head of marketing and branding for Dialtech and charge of a lot of this great content that you guys are going to see today. Welcome, Rebecca. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Rob. Thank you for having us today. We are very excited about it. And um, I wish everyone a very entertaining and informative webinar. Have fun with it. Thank you. Thank you. Next, the head, the man behind the technical side, leading the technical, the senior product manager, Udo Steinbrunner. Hi, Rob. Hi to all. Great to be with you today. Hi, Udo. Thank you Hi. for being with us today. Thank you for all of it. You're you're the man, as I know many years of tech, you're the technical genius behind Dialtech's great <laughs> products and great out there. So thank, thank you, you so for much. That, Rob. And let, now let's bring on your counterpart, uh, Subash yeah. Chandaluri, who's coming Hello, straight Rob. from us live from yeah. India. You know, we're great. this is a global, <laughs> you know, we're doing a global uh, uh, platform here today. So I'm really happy to have all you guys aboard. And also, Hello. let's bring in um, our next uh, technical specialist, who's based here at California, uh, U.S. in California, Patrick Kwok. Hi, wow! Good morning, everyone. Hi, Patrick. Welcome to have you. Welcome, everybody is on board. Um, yep. Thank you for all coming, and thank you for all the audience out there watching. This is going to be a great show for you all. And uh, and I'll pass it off to Dr. Savario Barboni. He will start the the presentation and tell you a little bit back about uh, Dialtech, and then we'll go from there into the technical side. Okay. Thank you, Rob. So. Uh, let us start to give a, a brief introduction about uh, uh, Diotech. Diotech, uh, uh, our Rob told, is a company that has a 74 years of history in uh, uh, semiconductor, and uh, our ambition is to be your specialist uh, for semiconductor solutions. So when we go to the next uh, uh, slide, uh, what we want to show is our really our global presence. We have uh, four facilities, worldwide in Germany, in uh, uh, Slovenia, in uh, China, and then uh, also in India. Our headquarter is in Europe, uh, in Germany, and uh, uh, in all our factory, we are assembling our product. So we have a front end and back end. This is very important in our uh, segment of market to be able to control all the processes of the uh, pro, uh, production of these diodes. Then we have uh, one uh, uh, sourcing office in Taiwan, very important to be in contact with uh, a lot of suppliers, uh, a lot of logistics is uh, uh, going through Far East, as you know, or EPEC territory. This office is helping us a lot uh, in this uh, uh, challenge. Then uh, 13 worldwide spread sales offices we have. This is very important because in all of this location, you will find a technical support for your needs. We, have, we are a technical company oriented, and this is very important to support our network, to support entities like our partner, IBS. From the technical point of view, this is our challenge. Then last but not least, we have five, uh, we call logistic hubs. It means that uh, a centralized warehouse is in, in Europe where we control the quality of all our product that we release on the market. But then we are able to provide the logistic service uh, in correlation with the specific needs that uh, different territories, territories can have in India, in Singapore, in uh, Hong Kong, in China. So you see that uh, this is uh, our uh, global presence on the world, including our uh, Rob told, uh, I think that is very important uh, for this uh, working session. Uh, we have Patrick that is located in California and he has a technical background. Then going to the next slide, you can see what, what we want to show, the target market that Diotech has. We have a five segment of market that are very important for Diotech. Industrial application where we have customers like Siemens or ABB, Rockwell, uh, Cooper Bosman. These are uh, relevant brands and uh, you see that 50% uh, of our turnover is an industrial application where reliability quality is very important then 22% is in consumer 
So it means that we are not only good in quality, we have, we have it also to be great in price. Uh, otherwise, consumer is a, a market where it is extremely difficult to penetrate, the competition is incredible. In this case, we have clients uh, like uh, Electrolux for white goods, or Brown for toothbrush, or Miele, another important brand for uh, white goods. Lighting, you know, in the last decade, the lighting has totally changed. We, we had incandescent lamps 10 years ago in our house. Now we have LED. In the middle, it was also energy saving lamps. Who remember this? Anyway, this is a very important market, of course. And uh, uh, we are very proud that we have clients like uh, Osram or Sylvania in our uh, product portfolio uh, of clients. Then mobility. Mobility is changing totally. Also, this is an incredible market, not only the evolution of the traditional cars where uh, future with the electronic devices are now uh, state of the art but it was there is uh, already a big change in technology hybrid car electrical vehicle we have 10 percent of our uh, uh, market in this segment with clients like valeo or volkswagen or mercedes-benz that we are serving last but not least energy Energy is very important. Energy has to be measured. Everybody wants to control this uh, uh, segment of the market. And Diotech is leader with a unique solution for this segment of market. And for example, uh, the new generation of smart meters, how to measure the, 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 the energy. We have clients uh, like Siemens uh, that are very, very important, or Landis and Gear, great brands uh, that we are able to work together. On the next slide, also, we want to show the six columns of our product portfolio. So you have seen before five segments of market that we are able to uh, cover with six uh, segments uh, of uh, uh, components. The, our history is driving us in uh, rectifiers, diodes. This is also where the name comes from of the company. And in each segment of market, of course, we have peculiarities. You see rectifiers, no protectifiers is a trademark solution that Diotech is presenting. Or diodes, diodes, because uh, uh, we have a huge uh, product range with a very uh, interesting product with a very low VF, uh, that is a forward voltage, or very uh, low IR, that is the leakage current uh, of the product. You know, if you want to have efficiency, you need to have, a, uh, uh, you have to use as much as possible the potentiality of your product. Then Zener is also something of unique. Not only this, then step by step during the years, Diotech uh, enlarged the product portfolio with the transistor. Digital transistor is something that uh, is not so easy sometimes to find. We have this product. Protection. Protection is very important. The instability of the main everywhere can create a trouble. Diotech is leader in this field with the transient voltage uh, uh, suppressor, unidirectional, bidirectional, or ESD uh, for always for protection. Then in the last uh, uh, period also, we have the ambition to enlarge, to keep more space in the board of our client. And we start to produce and offer MOSFET and voltage regulators. So in uh, this uh, product range, for sure, uh, you will find a lot of uh, uh, opportunities to work together with us. And when we go back to diodes, where uh, we are uh, anyway co we come from we develop a specific uh, solution we patented shotkey 3g shotkey is a unique solution and for this uh, item i pass the line to udo steinebrunner our senior product manager thank you saverio okay 3g shotkey you mentioned already we got a patent on this very interesting short key chip technology, which uh, have been developed at Diotech uh, in the past three years. And uh, what is behind this new and amazing technology? I think it's best explained if we do a little benchmarking. You can see here three uh, diodes in SMA package, and they are typically used as an output rectifier 1 amp, 5 volt, for example, for a battery charger, for a smartphone, or could be also used in an LED driver. And in the past, you could go either for a low reverse leakage current, or you could head for a low forward voltage drop. We have here, for example, a part number from our competitor, Wishai, and you can see Wishai, their target was 
to have a rather low hot leakage current, 2.6 milliamps at 5 volt, 125 degrees C's. While diodes inc, uh, the next competitor, they were looking for a low forward voltage drop, 280 millivolts at 1 amp, 125 degrees C's. These are the parameters where normally these diodes are operated. Now, our third generation short key technology allows to combine both. You can see our part has the low leakage current of Vishai and the low forward voltage drop of diodes ink part. So we can combine the best out of both. And on top of it, our part offers the lowest junction capacitance. This is important if you think about high frequency operation. Then here we have a little roadmap. Uh, we can show you what we have already made in this 3G technology. And if we start again in SMA, you can see here a very long, a very bulky part number. How does it come? Let's start with our first case study. Our customer Brown, you might know them as a supplier of shavers or toothbrushes. They came to us with the following problem. They told, if we send our shavers to the shop, the battery must be semi-charged only for safety reasons. But then it can happen that this shaver uh, stays in the shop for one year. And if then the customer is coming and buying it, it is clear he wants to try it out. I, I want to test it immediately. And if the battery is empty, I'm disappointed. So what we need is a short key diode with a very low reverse leakage current, but also with a very low forward voltage drop VF, because if the battery is empty, we want to charge up again as fast as possible. And our 3G technology was able to fulfill these two wishes. Brown uh, took our part and compared it to Vishai's 15MQ040N. And they told, fantastic, your part is performing even better than this Vishai part. We use it immediately. And that was for us the point to say, okay, then we add this part number of Vishai to our part number because then every customer worldwide looking for this Vishai part will find our part which is even performing much better as we have been informed by our customer Brown. We have seen before the standard version SK34 SMA minus 3G, but uh, this technology allows also to offer a very low VF diode. It's the SL series, 34 SMA minus 3G with an even lower forward voltage drop. The same we can offer an SMB package, 5 ampere with a very low leakage current or even a very low VF. Or in SMC package, an 8M version, again, the same concept. Now let's have a look to a short video about this technology. Welcome to the online presentations by Diotech Semiconductor. Smart devices for smart applications. Under this slogan, we present you our solutions for your design success. Today, patented shot key technology improves contactless charging. Contactless charging is becoming more and more popular in battery powered devices. It is realized by isolated converter topologies where the primary side is built into the charging cradle while the secondary side is part of the device. The output rectifier diode plays an important role in such applications. It must have a low forward voltage, VF, in order to provide high efficiency and thus fast charging cycles. And for long standby times, its leakage current, IR, must be low as well. But both conditions oppose each other. A low forward voltage causes a high leakage current and vice versa. Diotech's new patented shot key technology offers the solution. It allows to shrink the die size and thus the leakage current while keeping the same forward voltage performance. The effect of a reduced leakage current is independent from shot key barrier metal as these characteristics show. 
As such, it announced the usage of low forward voltage barriers without the past drawback of high reverse leakage. The ideal shop key die for contactless charging devices. Okay, I hope you liked it. Then we stay a bit with short key rectifiers, but now we come to high voltage uh, devices. Normally, design engineers, they believe a short key has the lowest possible forward voltage drop, but it's not fully correct. It's okay for 40 volt, 60 volt types, but if we go for higher voltages, and here you can see a trench short key by Vishai again, 120 volt. It has a forward voltage drop of less than 1.12 volts at 20 amps. But our protectifiers, which is a bipolar diode, offers less than 0.98 volt at 20 amps. So it is roughly 10% lower, which makes a big difference. And what is the big advantage of the protectifiers? And the name is telling it already. It's a protected rectifier. You can see a very large reverse avalanche energy of more than 1,000 millijoules. Uh, let us go to another case study. Stanley Black & Decker with their professional brand DeWalt. They were coming to us asking for doing a device test, testing the freewheeling diode used in the DC motor of a power tool with a 14.4 volt battery. And mainly during a uh, turn on of the trigger, we can see a very large voltage spike reaching more than 120 volts. It is clear that a short key with 120 volt will be damaged immediately by, by such high peak. Our protectifiers can really easily withstand. It has a higher voltage, a great reverse avalanche energy and the TRR the reverse recovery time is less than 300 nanoseconds is good enough for the typically four kilohertz of uh, switching frequency of these power tools. So Black & Decker was very happy to use our protectifier uh, device instead of a high voltage short key. Of course, also high voltage short keys. And here we see our MBR2200 CT, a 200 volt type can be used in applications mainly where switching frequency is very high. For example, battery charging systems for cars or other applications. Uh, these high voltage short keys have a TRR of typically 40 nanoseconds. And then there, of course, they are the right choice to be taken for these applications. Now we come to voltage regulators and I pass the presentation to my colleague Subash. Thank you, Mr. Udo. Okay, well, uh, every electronic device, whether it is a mobile phone, smartwatch, Bluetooth headset, printer, all these devices require a stable input voltages for uh, better operation, functioning, and also even the reliability. So here, the voltage regulators are easy to use power supply solutions uh, to generate the steady state output voltages. In the next slide we show, here is the uh, actual line card of linear voltage regulators that we have launched recently in the first phase. They consist of uh, several families. Uh, when we go into the details, the first family LDI 1117 series is a typical low dropout voltage regulators. So these are offered in three different packages as shown on the screen with the output current rating of one ampere. And it is offered in both the adjustable and fixed output voltage versions from 1.2 to 5.0 volts. Coming to the second family, DI78M05UAB. This is a positive voltage regulator offered in SOT89 package. One interesting feature of this product is that it can deliver the output current rating of 0.5 ampere, which is definitely an interesting thing uh, for the design engineers. Usually in the market uh, to deliver such uh, current rating, uh, the devices are offered either in the bulky TO220 package or DPAC. But whereas we can offer this such high current rating, 
here we should say like thanks to our chip technology for having such high current capability coming to the third item di6206 family this is a very special type uh, ultra low power low dropout voltage regulator here it has a very interesting feature that is the quiesen current when we look at the quiesen current rating it is very low like 1 micro ampere which is outstanding and it is well suitable for the applications where the customer is looking for the low power consumption and high frequency or high efficiency applications one typical example of this product is that when a person buys a bluetooth headset what does he expect he expect it to have a longer battery charging times so this is possible only when the components present inside such devices are having very low quiesen currents here this is really useful for such applications having higher uh, efficiencies for such devices coming to the last families di78l and di79l series these are the positive and uh, negative voltage regulators having the output current rating of 0.1 ampere and these are the fixed output voltage regulators from 3.3 to 24 volts and one important feature is that this product has a wider junction temperature operating range when we see in the market usually the other manufacturers of, uh, offers two different variants one is the ab type having the minus 40 to plus 125 degree centigrade the other variant is ac type 0 to 125 degree centigrade but again here because of the chip technology we are having only one single product having the broader or wider junction temperature range so this is all about our uh, linear voltage regulators that we launched recently and here we see a short video giving you a brief uh, overview of our uh, regulators Okay, thank you, Subash. And we go on with avalanche diodes. Um, our today's mains are highly disturbed because there are a lot of uh, inductive loads like motors or coils which are switched on, switched off, and they can generate voltage spikes. But also from outside, from the mains, from the landline, lightning strikes, they can cause uh, voltage peaks which can damage uh, sensitive electronics. For that reason, design engineers, they use varistors to clamp voltage peaks. But um, these varistors have a disadvantage. They are a bit slow. So if the transients are very fast in the nanosecond range, they are not able to clamp it. And then even a 1,600 volt rectifier might be damaged. And this is the job now for an avalanche diode. Avalanche diodes are able to clamp very fast, very short transients, as you can see here. And on the left-hand side, there is an oscillogram of a real test. In red, we can see a current peak. And the avalanche diode is clamping it to a level of, for example, 1,300 volts. This is our line card of controlled avalanche rectifiers. We can see in the first line, the AM2000, the 1M1600 volt standard rectifier in a MELF package featuring five millijoules of avalanche energy. Then the BYG23T, a 1M 1300 volt ultra fast rectifier with five millijoules. The BYG10M is a well-known 1.5M 1000 volt rectifier offering 20 millijoules and next to come in May, and you can see here, it will be available within this month, will be the BYG20J version, 1.5 amps, 600 volts, ultra fast. A little case study, our customer Siemens doing industrial controls. 
uh, was successfully designing in the BYG 10M because they had a problem. These controls are used in very uh, harsh industrial environments. The mains are highly disturbed and the, often they got really damaged controls. And you can imagine if we talk about an automotive production line, it's a disaster. But by using this BYG 10M, they could overcome this issue easily. Okay, we go on with TVS protection. We stay in the uh, clamping area. And here, let me introduce to you some TVS highlights in MELF and mini MELF package. Uh, often, mainly the production companies, they don't like these packages because they are round. They tend to roll away when assembled on the PCB. That might be an issue for reflow soldering, but if we talk about wave soldering, it's not a problem at all because there you glue the part on the PCB and then you do the wave soldering. Everything is fine. Now, what is the big advantage of these packages? Um, we will see it later in a little video. They use massive copper plugs allowing a very high performance. And here we come to the next case study from Osram. You might know also as Sylvania. They are doing uh, lights and you can see here now the motive headlight. They were asking us for a very special high voltage TVS diode with 520 volt breakdown voltage. We offered them our part in a MELF package. They compared to a comparable part uh, in SMB from on semi. And they clearly told your part is performing much better then the SMB version of Onsemi, and uh, they were designing in our part and using it now in huge volumes in this automotive headlights. Okay, now as promised, the video about this MELF package and the comparison to SMA. Okay, and we go again with Subash and a very new TVS flat SMA package. Thank you, Mr. Udo. Okay, well, here, the TP SMA 6L series from Diotech is a high power density TVS diode offered in a flat, low profile SMA package. It has a typical height of just 1.3 millimeter and it features a peak pulse power dissipation of 600 watt. And this series provides a cost-effective solutions by having the same level of peak pulse power dissipation compared to the uh, P6 SMB series in SMB package. And also the smaller dimensions and low profile height of the package promotes the space saving solutions uh, for the slim compact uh, portable electronics. Here, one good example is that uh, the hard disk in the current market, they are getting very compact and very slim. So what is the expectation from the such devices? So they expect for very slim packages having the high power density. Here you go, our TP SMS 6L series having both the features very slim of 1.3 millimeter and also high power density of 600 watt. So this is all about of this TP SMS 6L series. So Mr. Udo, I hand over the presentation to you to further carry on.
Thank you. And we come indeed to the last item uh, of today's podcast, Power MOSFETs. You might ask yourself, why do we need another supplier of uh, Power MOSFETs? And again, we see here a little benchmarking. Uh, 90 amp power MOSFETs in a TO220 package, and we compare this part with a device from ST Micro and from Infineon. And if you have a look to the RDS on, this is the most important parameter. We offer typically 6.5 milliohms. The ST Micro part is 5.6, so we are almost in the same level, but our part has a drain source voltage of 60 volts and ST Micro only 30 volts. Infineon has a 55 volt type with only 8.8 .8 milliohms, so which is much worse. So our part performs here already much better than these two comparable parts. Let's have a short look to the line card. Almost complete the TO220 family ranging from 50 amps up to 195 amps and drain source voltage 30 up to 100. So the typical low voltage MOSFET used in a DC-DC converter or in a DC motor drive or any kind of other MOSFET application. Then we come to the SOT23, a small signal package, but we have here a P-type which offers up to minus four amp of drain current, which, which is fantastic for such tiny and small package. Another P-type uh, is here the MMFTP84 or two common uh, part numbers, the 2N7002. Why do we offer two uh, different versions? Because if you compare with some competition, some of them, they offer a very low RDS on. We can do as well. It's our A like advanced version or some of them, they have a higher RDS on. And this version is uh, mostly used if price is an issue because we can, of course, offer for a better price by using a different chip inside. Then the last one, a very interesting family, the QFN 5x6, measuring only 5 millimeters by 6 millimeters at a height of only 1.0 millimeter. Very tiny, very small anyway capable for handling up to 110 amps, again in the low uh, voltage range. Okay, so now we see a last video about MOSFETs. Okay, that's it for the presentation. We are already close to the end. What I would like to introduce very shortly, few minutes only is now our website and I just change over to it. I hope it works. You can see we are in a live session and maybe someone can tell me if we now see our website, hopefully. We're good. You're good, Udo. Perfect. Okay. You're, you're, very, very, very fast. Keep on, very, keep on to doing what you're doing. Loving it. Very fast. An introduction to our website. Thank you for that. Okay, um, our website really uh, offers many useful tools. For example, if you look for a cross-reference part, let's uh, think you have made a design in of an on semi part called MRA 400. I type it in now and we will see what happens. MRA 400 is an on semi type and you can see immediately these are our cross types. So it works very fast, very quickly. And we even show our stock level, as you can see here. We have huge stock levels, for example, of the S1G. So in case there is a shortage, come to us or come to our distribution. It's not a problem. Here you can see a button check stock. We even show uh, the stock levels of our distributors like IBS. 
and they directly uh, offer then a symbol, a shopping cart. If you click on it, you can really go directly to their online web shop. Very easy. Then if you don't know a part number, but you say, I need a shot key diode in, let's say, an SMA package, you can simply use our parametric search, filter it. I need a 40 volt and 3 amp device. And here you are very easily, very quickly. You can find all the types which we are offering. Clicking on the part number opens again the line where you see stock levels, data sheets, material data sheets, everything. What is interesting for you guys, step files or SPICE models, everything can be found over there. If we go to products and uh, you need some additional information like packaging, solder and assembly, storage conditions, solder pad size, export regulations or gradings, here you are very easily, very quickly, you can find everything you need. Then we offer a bunch of application notes, for example, ESD protection, power supplies, MOSFETs we have seen already, or if you prefer watching videos, it's not a problem at all. We go back and we go here then to the news section, what's new. And there you can see the videos, which we have seen now already, but we have much more about a lot of different items. Okay, that's all from my side. Thank well, you for thank following. You, Thank you, Udo. That was fantastic. Welcome. Thank you for the technical knowledge. I think a lot of people are going to be very, just a lot of insightful information, new information about DOTech, the technologies, um, how we move forward, how we integrate them into certain applications. I think it's sure. very informative. I hope everybody out there is, all the technical uh, people out there, engineers can see the, the strengths, the competitive advantages of, of DOTech over its other competitors in the world. And uh, I, really, I really thank you and your technical team for this, Udo. Thanks a lot. Welcome, Rob. Thanks a lot. It's a pleasure. Thanks a lot. So to close this up, I want to thank you all for tuning into IBS Electronics Technical Webinar featuring DOTech Semiconductor. We will now open up for questions. Um, please submit your questions you know, via e e comments, via Facebook or YouTube. We have some questions already in line. So I think we'll start popping those up and we can get everything going forward. As... All right, well, I think we're having things as a little TV. Well, thank you all. I see all your beautiful faces. Thank you all. You know, we're live. This is, this is, sometimes yeah. we have technical difficulties to bring up the questions, but I guess uh, that's up for the, for the back end right now to see what's coming up. Oh, there we go. There's some wonderful. We got some uh, some comments coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're all welcome. Oh, here's we like, a good question. We like if you liked it. Here, here, here's a question. Oh, a question. Yes, indeed. Indeed, uh, we uh, we have our own silicon uh, wafer chip fab. We uh, buy the uh, raw silicon, but then all the characterizations of our technology are in-house. So it's giving us a, a lot of uh, possibilities and flexibility to serve the market, of course. Okay. Next question. Let's bring it up here. Well, as it changes, <laughs> this is the, the, the time of the, the yeah the, the the pause time in live events that it takes a little time because I know there's a few more questions on there and it's uh, it seems like it's a little technical to, to Rob is like is like during the, an exam. <laughs> we hope the question doesn't come. But that, they come exactly. Right. exactly. Oh, here we go. Here's our next question. Yay. Udo. Your yes, turn. we do. Come on. Of course, of course, we have a big team of uh, design engineers and we design and produce all of these solutions which we have introduced today in-house. Absolutely. Right. Included the patent. Is our patent yes. a city shop? Exactly. Exactly. You can Google for it. No problem. Oh, that's nice. Nice yeah, comment. Welcome. Yeah. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Jinke.
Ah, Rob, just a joke. You know that Udo in India, they call a guru. <laughs> of course, it's because he's a wise expert. De definitely, person. definitely. You, you agree, Subhash, right? You're the guru. <laughs> I, can I can see. That's fantastic. Well, I think, I mean, as we've gone forward this, you know, I, first of all, I'd like to thank all of you. Thank you for putting this up, uh, for coming and joining us and putting this uh, amazing event together. We've put some great content out there. I think we've really informed um, a lot of people around the world about DOTech and the technologies moving forward. And, you know, thanks to everybody's efforts. And I think as of this, you know, it's the first time, hopefully we can do more and more of these um, in spec with different segments um, and different timing. And um, I, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's where we roll out. I want to thank you guys. Thank you all out there watching. Thank you all DOTech team. Loving it. And I hope thank to you, Rob. Thanks again for having us. Thank you, Rob. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys again soon. Have a fabulous day and a fabulous yeah. week. Bye-bye. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.